From the AP GNNE Foundation, a conversation with 1988 GNNE fellow Dr. Mark Von Zastro. Janini really planted a seed and helped me develop an interest that really came from my clinical experience combined with my longer term interest in doing something fundamental at the laboratory bench. First of all, it was a relief because I was actually quite concerned about whether I would be able to pay my rent. Beyond that, it was an honor. I remember that there was quite a challenging interview for this award. It was quite a diverse panel of people who were asking questions about what my interests were and what I was planning to do. And I thought that was actually quite a challenging discussion to have with them. I felt a great deal of support that the panel had voted to fund my application. It did have a morale boosting effect, but it also in a practical sense allowed me to explore areas in a very fertile environment. We met Dr. Von Zastro at his laboratory at the University of California, San Francisco, Mission Bay campus, where he conducts basic research focusing on neurobiology at the cellular level. As someone very interested in understanding mechanisms of disease and very interested in developing new therapeutics, I strongly believe that the way to do that is through basic research. The traditional approach to neuroscience is from the big the sort of the whole person, the whole animal, looking at a behavior, then trying to identify neural circuitry that is responsible for the behavior, and then trying to understand what the components of those neural circuits are, cellular, molecular, etc. So sort of a top-down approach. The focus of our laboratory has been on trying to understand some of these fundamental processes, focusing really on the level of the single cell, the individual neuron. What our laboratory focuses on is what you might call choreography in the nervous system. So we're interested in how signal transduction is mediated, regulated, and changed over time. And the focus of our work has been on how receptors physically move in response to activation by drugs or by naturally occurring substances. And trying to understand sort of the rules of the road and what these movements actually mean. And it turns out that there's this whole set of processes that are occurring um, while we're sitting here speaking. Our receptors are not only receiving signals from the outside, but in response to receiving these signals, they are moving physically within the cell. And these movements are organizing them with, regard, with respect to molecules with which they have to interact and putting them in different parts of the cell in which they have a higher or lower probability of being subsequently activated. So there's this whole, I call it sort of a dance, that's an organized movement um, which is essentially choreographed by the input signals, the chemical mediators, the neurotransmitters, the drugs, the mixture of stimuli that our nervous system is being subjected to. So this sort of whole level of of, of regulation um, and how it's impacting information flow in neural circuits is really a complete frontier area which um, makes it a tremendously fun place to work. So I would say it's kind of like molecular choreography in the nervous system. I think as a scientist you are learning every day how little you know and the trick is to figure out ways to make forward progress in the face of a tremendous number of uncertainties. The fun of it is in figuring things out, and in that respect, it's a very rewarding career. My impact, hopefully, is in the context of making some hopefully rigorous inroads. In other words, observations and interpretations that will stand the test of time and will contribute to a solid foundation of biomedical science. I can only hope that our work will make an impact on patients in my lifetime, but I can't be sure that that's true. And in fact, there's a good possibility that my impact, my direct impact will be limited. But the hope is that our work, combined with the work of many colleagues throughout the world over the years, will come together to lead to those big advances our thanks to Dr. Mark Von Zastro. If you'd like to learn more about his research, here's a link for you. And here's where you can learn more about the AP GNNE Foundation's fellowship program supporting innovative medical research. I'm Jerry Kay.